my friends. We got another Timeless Tim episode in here. Yeah, just making sure that that's turned down a little bit so you can hear my beautiful voice. Hi. This one is, is sex ed, actually. Have I had sexual education? Of course. I went to nursing school. <laughs> Even if I didn't get it in high school, like, yeah, I would, I would have gotten it eventually. Did I really need it? Nah. We all learned that stuff when we were like eight. Should I have gotten it in school? If I, I'm pretty sure I, health, health class, yeah. My health class gives a sex education portion. A lot of people don't. I don't understand why that's a thing. The class is not having the medics. Like, yes, these people need, <laughs> these, these young adults, not even young adults, these teenagers do need to know what sex is. Like, and how to not screw up your life with it. I don't, I don't even know why that's controversial, but... Timeless Tim's about to share his experience in his sex ed class, and... Oh, maybe, maybe it'll be similar to mine. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go. Now remember, kids, abstinence is the key. But if you have to have intercourse, use protection. Be silly. And don't... Sorry, I accidentally paused it. Now remember, kids, abstinence is the key. But if you have to have intercourse, use protection. Remember, wrap your willy, don't be silly. And, and boom, that's it. <laughs> that's the whole class. That is literally the entire class. At least that's that's the basics of that's the basis of it. You don't want to have STDs. You don't want to have children. Then yes, abstinence is a foolproof plan. But if you're if you're all frisky and you got to get your rocks off, use contraceptives. It's easy as pie. And condoms are actually like the, are actually the least effective form because they only have a seventy percent success rate. So yeah, I I'd I'd, I'd I'd say use something chemical instead of doing that or you can do both i'd say yes do both for 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 the best possible prevention if you really don't want to have kids that bad but you know don't be shy to ask anything you want miss long yes tim what about the pull-out method no, no. pull-out method isn't safe what about the guac guac 3000 <laughs> you can't have kids that way so i guess <laughs> i guess that's an option Two things you What's learn that? in high school. First, you better know how to throw those hands. Fighting comes hand in hand with a teenager. Ooh. Trust me, the better fighter you are, the best bullies you have. Yeah, Second, that's sex. Good. S E X. A. In high school, that's right, my guy. See, thanks to biology, teenagers are obsessed with the thoughts of intercourse. Dang. Now, I'm not one to judge. I feel you. Been there, done that. See, high school is all about peer pressure. And what's what the worse than the pressure? Did they just die? Your B card. Oh. So, my guy, I got one. Wait, who, where did they go? It looks like they just fell in the freaking water. Worse than the pressure of losing your B card. So, my guy, I got one question for you. What's your body count in high school? Zero. Because. Not for me. Nah. Talking zero, one, five. First of all, if you got more than five bodies in high school, mm, you were two plus two. Maybe. For the streets. Which leads us to one of the most important courses <laughs> in school. Sex yeah, that's ed. Fair. Now, different that's schools fair. have different curriculums. Some schools start as young as elementary, but for my school, sex ed was a requirement for every freshman. Just in case mommy and daddy didn't give you the birds and the bees talk. Makes sense. Of high school pulls a prank. They blindfolded students at a pep rally and then tricked them into making out with their own parents. Nasty! Nasty! Um, Nasty! Times have changed, and I'm guessing the talk now goes a little something like this. Son, we need to have a talk. Dad, I know what this is about. You do? Sex, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. Son. When a man and a woman get together, but oh, that, that's exclusive. What about non-binary people, intergender people, and gender fluid people? Who taught you this? Everybody knows? Okay. They, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that all people have sex. <laughs> like, uh, it usually just goes the same way, to be honest. Everybody's got foreplay. No matter what your sexual identity or gender is, like, you... Some people are. Some people just want to get the rocks off, and some people don't want to do it at all. 
I'm I don't know if I fall into that category yet. I've just not been interested. Okay, son. When a man and a woman, a dad. What about a woman and a woman? Bro, or vice versa. They'll just oh, do the same thing. Man. Wait, vice versa. Who's teaching you this? TikTok. Give me that phone. And they will literally just start bumping up. Where <laughs> this story begins. Or so doing all the other stuff. Story, of I'ma take you back, back to my freshman. So it was fall semester. Now at the time, your boy was taking health class. Now health class was bull rank. Can't remember a thing I learned from it except that one day, the day my world changed. So your boy was chilling in class. Okay, good morning, kids. Oh God, good morning. it's gonna be warm. Well, today we have a special subject. Yay! Special. What are you talking about? Today's subject is sex. Immediately, Miss Long got my attention. <laughs> I mean, come on, my guy. <laughs> Bro. The was a teenager's end. Well, Cap just a teenager's my right. whole thing. <laughs> okay, Fair everyone, enough. before we get started, everyone has to go home and submit permission slips to their parents. Damn. So Miss Long gives us all permission slips onward, and I get to the crib. All right, Tim, should I go to mom or pops with the permission slip? Both. So after a few just moments of pondering, I decided to go with mom. So I get to her, hand her the permission slip, so my mom reads it, looks at me. Tim. Are you sure you're ready for this subject? Yes. Uh -huh. What do you know about sex? Everything. Trust me, mommy. I've never been more ready for anything in my life. So my mom takes the permission slip to my dad, talks to him, and makes the man give me the talk. Oh, hey, son. Hey, dad. Well, I heard about your permission slip. So, <clears throat> dad, I already know all about sex. What do you know? Well, I heard you and mommy before. <laughs> oh, Just the first. well, I guess my job's all done here. Was their glass? Why was their glass breaking? What were they doing? They that's got that's got to be on some BDSM type. <laughs> like, what are they cutting each other with the glass or something? What? Now that I know is you crazy. don't want to hear this, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. If you're here, that means Aww. mommy and daddy had sex. I'm gonna let that sink in. I've been feeling fine. No, 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 no. bro. No. Fast forward, and it's the next day. Your boy gets up early, gets to school, ready for the lesson of my life. Good morning, kids. Ooh, Good morning. Wait, but that time I die. So Miss Long starts with a basic question. Does anyone know how the female reproductive system works? Yes, we talking about Yes, but I already told you why. Yes. Girls today. Ooh, I do. Okay, Tim. Well, first God makes girls pee come out red every month. What? They get really angry for some reason, but then they're good. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Tim. Okay, that's funny. So Miss Long continues to explain how the female body works, and then it all got juicy. Now remember, kids, abstinence is the key. But if you have to have intercourse, use protection. Remember, mm -hmm. wrap your willy, don't be silly. And don't be shy to ask anything you want. Miss Long? Oh, yes. actually, yes. I'll definitely use both. Because uh, the chemical methods may be better with maybe better for preventing children, but STDs, you definitely want to go with a barrier contraceptive. That, that is a, that is an absolute. Okay, you don't know what people have out here. Just because somebody tells you something doesn't mean doesn't mean that they're telling the truth. So it's like. Just, just do it. Just do it. Okay. Yes, just what put about it the pull-out method? No, Tim. Pull-out method isn't safe. What about the Guac Guac Three Thousand? Oh, yes, God. Tim. That's intercourse. Miss Long? Mm, yes, Tim. Really. What about doing it from Tim? It's <laughs> all bad. All of it. Don't do it. Okay. Oh, you yeah. say sex is natural, which in all honesty, it is your boy is serious. See, I'm being honest. Many parents don't educate their kids about fornication. Live in the streets to teach you the hard way. If anything, parents are the ones that need education to help uh. them learn how to communicate with their children. Then came the last one: how to put on the love glove. Okay, kids, you take the love glove, open it, and roll it out. Now, for some of you, it might be a short roll. Oh. Boy, oh, this talk game, your boy. Brit. Suddenly, the girl started looking good. Dang, oh, boy, so got that back today. Oh, and Lisa got lips. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, I sure am feeling thirsty in case it got well. I mean, I can get you some water, my boy, but it's like, were you guys really getting all frisky, all um aroused in health class? Is that is that accurate? Couldn't be me, I don't think. Wait! Yeah? Yeah? Yes, Miss Long? Are you paying attention? Yeah? 
then what did I just say? That's you just said, me, though. Don't hit it wrong. So the what? Bell rings, your boy gets to the bus, gets to the crib, and make sure the coast was clear. That's oh, just me, though. Now it's home, and it's daytime. <laughs> you gotta get to work. So Fair enough. Room, lock the door, and release the pressure from hell To flash. infinity and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> How many? What the frick? Did we just go through multiple days? Okay, I hope that was supposed to be 30 minutes. Because, like, that's somewhat... That's normal. Some, a lot of people take longer. But... I... If that was 30 hours, I think there's something wrong, okay? There's something wrong if you just take 30 hours. Like, how do you, Was that just the whole... Wake your scary ass up. What you doing sleeping this early? We gotta go hoop. Go away. Man, get up. Give me a hand. Wait a minute. I didn't even wash my hands. <gasps> Stop being a pussy. You know what? Give me a hand, my guy. No. That's what I'm talking about, dog. Come on, man. We about to go ball out. Yo, why is your hand so sticky? The disrespect. God, no. The disrespect. Nah, you gotta fight for that, man. That's not something that you do to people. <laughs> F in the chat. F in the chat for my man. Random dude number seven. Okay then. <laughs> oh, good lord. No. Just, no. Oh, good lord. You, you did not just do that man dirty like that. The disrespect. Bro, okay, what have we learned today? Abstinence is foolproof for prevention of STDs and babies. Where are contraceptives prevent STDs, but aren't the best at preventing babies. Chemical contraceptives are better for that, but they do not protect you against anything. So use both. <laughs> if you do not, then you are consenting to babies and STDs. So don't complain about it later. <laughs> okay. Well, there are also other options, but you know, that's how. That's just my. That's just my take. To each their own, my friends. Have a good life, and eat cantaloupes. Yeah, eat cantaloupes. You are loved. You're appreciated. You're doing amazing things. And if you're and if you're not doing amazing things, then go grab a cantaloupe. Cut it open and start doing amazing things by eating it up, giving your giving your body those antioxidants and that vitamin C that need to be strong, okay? I got no nose for you, I'm out. Peace.